Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, what is Cryptococcus, how it spreads and who gets it and uh, that will be the topic for today. Now the Cryptococcus is a type of fungus that is found in the soil worldwide, usually in association with the bird droppings. And the major species of uh, Cryptococcus that causes the illness in the humans is Cryptococcus uh, neoformans. And another less common species that can also cause the disease in the humans is Cryptococcus gaiti and uh, has been isolated from the eucalyptus trees in the tropical and the subtropical regions you know, and in British Columbia, uh, Oregon and the Washington DC areas. Now the uh, Cryptococcus uh, so is a disease due to the species of the fungus Cryptococcus C neoformans typically infects the amino uh, compromised person you know and uh, the most people with the uh, who develop the cryptococcal infections are HIV positive and occasionally the persons with the no apparent immune system compromisation also have this disease you know so it Now, the inhalation of the airborne is the main way of spread, you know, and uh, Cryptococcus is uh, not known uh, to spread from person to person. And uh, the next thing is, what are the signs and the symptoms of uh, Cryptococcal infection? Now, the infection may cause pneumonia-like uh, illnesses uh, with shortness of breath, coughing, fever. And the skin lesions may also be uh, occur, you know. And another common form of uh, uh, cryptococcosis is the central nervous system infection, such as uh, uh, meningocephalitis, uh, you know. And the people with the cryptococcal meningocephalitis are usually immunocompromised, you know. And the symptoms may include like fever, headache, change of mental status. So these are the common signs and symptoms associated with the. Um, uh, cryptococcus is uh, infection you know now the next thing is how soon the symptoms appear once you uh, contact have the contact with the, this kind of fungi you know now the incubation times are very from infection due to cryptococcus species uh, symptoms uh, from the uh, cigarette infection are as, uh, eliminated to begin uh, when it starts to begin somewhere uh, between 2 to 11 months after the exposure to the uh, Cryptococcus uh, um, uh, fungi, you know. And the incubation period for the uh, C neoformans uh, is not known yet. Uh, it is very important to seek the immediate medical evaluation if you suspect that you might have uh, um, and this kind of uh, infection, you know. Now, the diagnosis can be made by microscopic examination and other cultured tissues or the body fluids that, uh, uh, such as flow, blood, the cerebrospinal fluid, and the sputum, you know. And the uh, cryptococcal antigen test is a rapid test that can be performed on blood or on the cerebrospinal fluid to make the diagnosis. And uh, the treatment. Uh, for the meningo, uh, meningo uh, uh, encephalitis and uh, other severe infections is usually initiated with an uh, M4 tracin B formulation with or without the uh, flucytosin. So uh, fluconazole uh, is used for the maintenance therapy of HIV infection patients with the cryptococcal you know. Uh, meningoencephalitis and uh, may be used for the patients with the milder form of infection uh, not involved in the central nervous system you know and uh, as uh, it's commonly spread by the bird droppings especially pigeon droppings you know so the people who have weakened immune system should avoid the areas uh, which are contaminated by the bird droppings and should avoid contact with the birds you know and there are no formal uh, recommendations for the prevention of this kind of uh, fungal infection, fungi infections, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.